Hi, I'm Katrina. And I'm Belinda. Welcome to Crumbs 13, the prayer edition. Hello, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we are coming to you this week with um, prayer time that the Lord has, it, it's so funny, we looked at each other and said, okay, I think it's time to pray. And, and um, I'm like, okay, the Lord already gave me something. And she said, me too. So I think this is going to be really special. Um, on August 28th of this year, I found myself um, in worship writing a love letter to the Father. And I would like to just speak that out in prayer because as we worship and love on God, amazing things happen. We just encounter him as we worship him. So this is just a prayer of worship. And then Belinda's going to wrap us up with um, a prayer of protection with the armor of mm -hmm. God. So, And you know what? When you were saying that, mm -hmm. there was a... Um, testimony from your family camp that you shared on Crumb's Facebook page mm -hmm. that I feel like we should share on YouTube. Okay. As I say that <laughs> for all of you to hear, we're going to pray on that. Yeah. You'll have to like remind me. Okay. Great. Now I'm befuddled. Okay. So I am just going to um, read this and just follow the Holy Spirit's promptings as we've said before with closing your eyes or keeping them open. Or opening up your hands. And, and being in a, a position of surrender. Okay, so we just thank you, Father, for this time in advance. Lord, I thank you for your promises. Your promises are true. Their love, their faithfulness, their kindness, their goodness. All things, Lord, work for good for those that love you with everything that they are and everything that they ever will be. Praise you, Jesus, in all things, your voice, your presence. It is all a sweet aroma in times of trouble. Praise you. Oh, to have my eyes fixed on you, Jesus, to be counted worthy by your precious blood. There is nothing like it. Wash me, Jesus. Cleanse me from this place that I may be face to face with you, my love, my Jesus. My heart is yours. I surrender my whole heart to your control. Take it and do what pleases you. Oh, Father, I just praise you and I thank you, Lord. Have your way mm -hmm. in us, Lord. Father, I just pray right now the armor of God over our families, over our friendships, our relationships, over um, those who are listening, over their families, over their friendships and relationships, Lord. Father, right now we fasten the belt of truth on each person, Lord, that you would quicken your word and truth to them, Lord, that you would um, awaken their eyes and their hearts and their ears to you, Lord, that they would be um, looking to you and seeking you, Lord, that they would be sound and stable in you, Lord. Father, I praise you and I thank you for the breastplate of righteousness, Lord. Would you place that on the hearts of everyone, protecting your placement within them, Lord. And those who haven't received you, Lord, I ask that they would open their hearts to you and receive you as Lord and Savior of their lives, Lord, receiving your protection, receiving your goodness, receiving your provisions. Lord, I praise you and I thank you for the boots of peace, Lord. Lord, would you strap those on tightly, Lord, that we would walk in peace with our words, our thoughts, our actions, and our reactions, Lord, standing firm in your truth, standing firm in what you've called us to do, standing firm in you, Lord, and not wavering when the winds and storms come, Lord. Father, I praise you and I thank you for for the shield of faith that every single fiery dart aimed at us is quenched demolished and destroyed through the blood of jesus christ lord that no weapon formed against us will prevail in jesus name i praise you and i thank you father for the helmet of salvation lord Lord, I just thank you that this is an anchor of hope, Lord. It keeps us stable, Lord, in you. It keeps us stable when yes. the storms comes, Lord. And I just praise you and I thank you, Lord, for the sword of the Spirit, Lord. I praise you and I thank you that the Spirit is you, Lord, and you're quickening your word and truth to us. That is your word, Lord. Father, I praise you and I thank you that you have your way in us and that we are fully equipped in you and that you have prepared us to walk out anything that you have set before us. Father, I just praise you and and thank you, Lord, that this armor is on all who yes. will receive it, all who yes. will walk in it, and all who say yes to it in yes. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, so if you're looking for um, the prayer for the armor of God, go ahead and go right to Ephesians 6. It's 10 or 10. Actually, it's 613, I think. 13. Six, yeah, 613. 613. Go ahead and read through that. We recommend that you read that out loud every single day. Mm -hmm. Pray it over your family. Pray it over yourself. 
Um, and we just hope that this blesses you and brings you even closer to the Father in this day. And also um, Romans eight twenty eight, which is the foundation of that prayer mm -hmm. that um, Katrina spoke. Mm -hmm. So um, rest in him, be equipped in him. Yes, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great day. Can't wait to see you at his table.